that new Cobra Fang. Cobra! Cobra Fang's a jet flying past it low and a fighting cops are out hunting. But nobody beats G.I. Joe, a real American hero. Hello everybody, this is Master Joe from a review of the vintage G.I. Joe Fangers, they're like in the 1989 Fan 2. Well, this Fan 2 is a very sturdy vehicle, it's almost the same size as the G.I. Joe Locust, we have reviewed that vehicle last time. And Fan 2 is in the year 1989, and there is a Fan 1, okay, and this vehicle is from the 1983, the color is black, but it looks uh, much smaller than the Fan 2, Fan 2 is sturdy. And a fan to the color is purple. This color reminds me of the 1984 Rattler. And also we can see the logo here. The Rattler also have the similar logo. And also have the same mechanism. The gimmick is to rotate this propeller. So uh, I give a wild guess. This vehicle is a downsize of the Rattler vehicle. And also, this fan too made his first comic book appearance in the issue 92. In that issue, we can see this fan too give a very uh, good performance. And also, uh, this vehicle made his first uh, animated appearance in the Dick Animated Operation Dragonfire uh, issue number one. And in that episode, Serpentor is piloting this fan too to command the Cobra team. So this vehicle you can either army build because the price is kind of cheap and also you can let the leaders like uh, Cobra Commander or Serpentor or even some uh, Alex Viper to sit in this vehicle. We know that in the episode 3, also the Operation Dragon Fire, Alex Viper is really piloting this uh, vehicle uh, to command the Cobra team. Alright, so here is the artwork of this Fan 2, and here is G.I. Joe, a Cobra Command Weapon. And here, Cobra Fan 2. We know that Cobra Fan 1 is an acronym, and uh, Fan means uh, Full Armed Negator Gyrocopter. And actually, Fan 2 is not an acronym, just uh, the name Fan. And a weapon do not shoot. And here, the figure sold separately. And here, this figure is a Heat Viper. So uh, we know that Heat Viper is a, a anti-tank specialist. So why put the Heat Viper here? We know that the choppers, the helicopters, is really the tank killer because the tank, their barrels have a certain angle, cannot lift up. So if this helicopter is flying on top of the tank, it can really kill the tanks. And let's continue to see the artwork here. All right, and here is the vehicle after assemble. We can see the purple color, and also there are six missiles. The name is M33. We know that M is the typical name for the missiles on airplanes, such as the short range is called Archer, the middle range called Fox, and the long range called Phoenix. But they can all called M. All right, and this is the blueprint of this vehicle. So we can see the details. Here are how you can apply those stickers. And also we can see them each next to here. First is aerodynamic multi-operational rear stabilizer. It's this part. And number two is variable air intake modulator, induct nozzle equalizer. Okay, number two is here, this part. And number three is front end flag proof stabilizer windlass. This two windlass can uh, flag proof. We know that flag is also a typical G.I. Joe vehicle. And number four is electronic F4000 GR7500 power turbine modulator. Okay, it's the two engines on the both side. And number five is thermal powered velocity generated intake uh, duct. That is this part. So you can let the air go inside of here and also flow to the engine and give some power here. Okay, and also a number six is dual tri-blade turbo fan rotors is these uh, two fans right here. And also the number seven is straight dynamic wind resistant thermal shield cockpit. Well, so we can see here is no windshield because this is a thermal windshield. So it like a invisibility windshield here. So it gives some protection and wind resistant to the pilot here. And also, and also number eight is six M thirty three air to air crusher missiles. Okay, so uh, this missile is a very uh, classic missile. It also a nice decoration to this vehicle. Right, and number nine is low visibility ultra sensitive signal intensifier antenna. Okay, it's this part. Okay, this part is antenna can spot the enemies in the front. Okay, and also, 
And also number 10 is a flat plate shockproof anti-armor canopy. It's this front part, which reminds me of the Formula One cars a cockpit here, okay, which is uh, shockproof. And last but not least, a 20 millimeter sectile barrel and impulse long range cannon. That is this part. And also we know that in the rattler, there is also a cannon in front of there. And also you can uh, rotate, okay, 360, we can see this later on. And also it can, uh, okay, go up and down, okay, movement. And here is how you assemble this uh, vehicle. It's quite easy, just uh, the seat and also this wing part and to uh, assemble the body. And also this is the, the down wing. And also here's a gimmick here and also the blade. Okay, and also the six missiles. And we can just test this uh, gimmick here, which is a very easy way, seven steps to assemble this vehicle. So let's see the vehicle here. All right, so this is the vehicle. And according to the artwork here is this uh, heat viper, which is uh, taking off. And also the seat here, there is no seat clip. There is no pack here. Um, like the fan one okay there is a peg and also here is a joystick and also here is no joystick which is a kind of pity here and also the inside is there's a lot of space inside of there and here is a sticker can show the detail and also on this side this part is a scream so we can see from the animation of uh, the serpentor just talk to Dastro through this screen here all right so here is the missiles okay this missile is a m33 okay it is a Pretty cool weapon to use, and it's also very classic dumbbell uh, groove gear. You can connect this to the wing here. There are six exactly the same model. And also the front gun here, you can just uh, rotate, okay, 360. And also the front part can go up and also go down, okay. And also this uh, two. Propeller can rotate very smoothly and also here is a gimmick just like a roller just uh, rolling back So this propeller can lift up can give some uh, vertical okay, Levitation so it can just stay in the air to uh, scouting this place and also give some command or it just can push you forward So you can have some speed just like the fixed wing Okay jet All right, and also the back there is the stabilizer and these two are the wing little uh, stabilizer here Okay, we can see there are two Cobra sticker, and also in the front is the bat Cobra sticker. Also, here are okay four star, which are the anti GI Joe stars, and each star represents a vehicle or ten vehicles this chopper has destroyed. Just like in the World War II, Michael Whitman, uh, there is some um, symbol in the front of the tank barrel to represent how many tanks Michael Whitman has destroyed. And also back here, there's sticker set found too. Okay, the under there, it's a uh, pretty plain. There are only a brand name here. It said 1989 Hasbro. There is no landing gear. So which means you have to land this uh, on its missile here. And also this vehicle without missile is pretty plain. So we can have a look here. All right, so without this missile, it looks really plain. So the only way to uh, attack is this uh, cannon in the front here. So let's put these missiles on this uh, vehicle. All right, so it looks much cooler, and let's pull this uh, heat viper inside of here, okay? Well, so this is the vehicle review today. Its name is Found 2. It's a pretty cool vehicle, and also you can army view this vehicle. The price is uh, not really expensive. It's quite cheap. And uh, if you liked this video, please press like and subscribe to my channel, and leave some comments here, because your like, your subscribe, and your comment really my motivation to make more of these videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Got that sunshine in my pocket. Got